Hello everybody, welcome back. I am going to take another look at Linux Mint 12. Uh, I feel a little bit better this evening than I did last night. As I said, I've been trying to shake a cold all week. But anyway, I wanted to point out a few things. First of all, thank you. Thanks to all of you who commented and made suggestions on how to make Linux Mint 12 with the MGSC work properly. And to make a long story short, I just wanted to show you something here, but I am not going to show you the complete GNOME 3 in the in the uh, virtual machine. But there's this is something that I missed last night. It was late. It was about midnight. And anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the login screen here. Now, of course, here I can type in my password password but before I do that right here if you go right here this is little spoke wheel here this is what I missed last night if you click this this is where you have the option to change from gnome gnome classic gnome classic no effects and mate now clicking any of these doesn't really change anything because it will not work inside a virtual machine it could be because I didn't have the add-ons installed, the VM tools uh, installed, and um, I tried doing that. It, it still didn't work, or it could be maybe I just missed something. But this is what I definitely missed last night. But let me just log in right now uh, as it is. And this basically uh, defaults to a... Uh, fallback mode with GNOME 2 inside the uh, I guess with GNOME 2 inside the uh, GNOME 3 shell uh, I think some of you commented that this that's what this looks like and of course you know what GNOME 2 looks like so if your machine if you have an older computer it does not have a 3d graphics acceleration then you will not be able to get the full uh, effect of GNOME 3 or as Linux Mint calls it MGSE the Mint GNOME shell extension uh, desktop interface but this is what I wanted to show you now I did figure out how to run Linux Mint properly and basically running it off a USB live stick now GNOME 3 has a built-in screen session recorder it does not record uh, sound or at least I couldn't get it to work off my microphone so what I did I, I, I recorded about a six and a half minute seven minute screen session and uh, pointing out some things what I liked about uh, Linux Mint 12 with no 3 and basically what I will do now is get out of this and I will get into the video that I recorded uh, booting Linux Mint off the USB Live uh, stick using um, uh, UNET bootin and uh, just basically using the built-in GNOME 3 recorder which actually turned out pretty clear so once again let me get out of this thank you once again to all of you this is probably the main reason why I enjoy dual booting and using uh, a Linux based operating system all you guys out there are terrific okay so let me leave this and I'll go straight into the screencasting review a better review of Linux Mint 12 with MGSE alright let's take a look at the video I did running GNOME 3 inside Linux Mint with a default desktop that is called MGSE, the Mint GNOME Shell Extension. All right, this is the default desktop here. Once again, very clean looking. As you can see, there is a panel bar at the top and a panel bar at the bottom. Right-clicking to add applets does not work. Somebody said try holding the Alt or Shift or something. Tried that, didn't work. So let's go from right to left. User session. Of course, the time, the clock, and the calendar. Network settings. Volume. 
and sound settings. Going to the far left, that will get me into the GNOME 3 uh, shell. And uh, I like the transparency effect on it. The colors looks fine. This is uh, These are the advanced settings. Desktop fonts, shell, shell extensions, the theme, and uh, windows. If you go to the right you can type in search for whatever piece of software you are looking for. I just clicked applications. To the right you have all accessories, graphics, internet, office, so on and so forth. And VLC is, of course, installed by default. Works pretty good with Windows also, by the way. And System Tools. Well, this is the, uh, the latest version, I believe, of the Mint menu. I think it's actually called something else. But anyway, you have the shortcuts to the left. The Right-clicking doesn't do anything. This cannot be changed at least uh, or customize at least not none that I'm aware of home folder the uh, default colors fonts uh, I thought looked very pleasing on the eyes no problem navigating through this I thought and in some ways I thought it looked a little bit nicer than uh, Windows 7 default media player is Banshee of course I don't know what that exclamation point uh, is there at the bottom right. And uh, of course right clicking on the desktop goes into the appearance settings. Alright, let's go to advanced uh, settings again. I wanted to uh, show you something here. Go to theme. Mint-Z is the default shell theme. But let's go to the, uh, let's see, what did I click? All right, I'm, I'm just highlighting some of the other uh, settings here. I didn't check all of these, by the way. I wanted to go into the, uh, the uh, not the default Mint theme, but the uh, default GNOME 3 theme, because that drastically, change, uh, drastically changes it. Let me go back to theme and uh, go back to shell theme click default and as you can see it changed the uh, panel bar there at the top and you may have seen this before running GNOME 3 workspace is to the right Firefox of course installed by default Now at the top panel bar, oh, this by the way is the alt tab switcher back and forth between Firefox and uh, Banshee. And if I minimize that and click the music icon, that brings up the media player settings for Banshee. Very nice, I thought. Easy to navigate to. Now, I noticed there are no uh, media player buttons on the volume icon just strictly on the uh, music icon for Banshee and these are the uh, three workspaces between uh, Linux Mint, Banshee and the uh, default desktop notice that the application icons are noticeably larger The, the colors are great. Uh, it looks very pleasing on the eyes.
I tried to record this using desktop recorder and it, it was pretty much worthless so uh, I tried using FFmpeg um, Kazam, Tabesti, I just couldn't get it to work so that's why I'm running it with the default GNOME 3 uh, screen session recorder with no microphone. Okay now right clicking does not allow me to quit Banshee um, so what did I do? Back to activities Banshee workspace and just click the X. And I think we're almost done here. Go back to menu. And your various applications. Love the colors and the advanced settings again. Very customizable to say the least. Switch Firefox. And we're back to the default desktop with the default uh, colors and fonts. That's it. That is a look, a proper look, at the um, Linux Mint 12. <laughs> My mind went blank. Must be the cough medicine. Anyway, that was a quick look at Linux Mint 12 running uh, MGSE GNOME 3. I think it looks terrific. Um, this is something I may or may not install. I don't know yet. I mean, as far as a recommendation, let me just say this. Right now, I think I would temporarily, and I stress temporarily, hold off uh, installing Linux Mint 12 if, if you are a Windows PC person coming over to Linux wanting to try something hold off I just don't know enough about it Linux Mint 12 is not just an update and upgrade it is is a complete change from the previous versions of Linux Mint 12 so looks great I really don't know just how stable it is um, the only way for me to find out is to install it either on my uh, desktop on a test machine as a full install not using a live CD or you know virtual machine or anything like that but just running it either that way or as a dual boot uninstalling uninstalling Linux Mint 11 that you see here and just install Linux Mint 12 and see what happens but for right now if you are running Linux Mint 11 keep it for now or if you're running Zorin OS, the previous version, keep that. That works terrific. Ubuntu Unity, also for me, 11.04, works terrific. If you are running one of those three and you're happy, keep it for now. Don't install Linux Mint 12 just yet until I get a little bit more feedback from other users out there. Out there, and really for me, running it more on a daily best daily basis if I get a chance to but that is my take on Linux Mint 12 it looks terrific let, let me know what you guys think once again thank you for all your comments and suggestions on the previous video I appreciate it and as always guys I will catch you sometime in your Linux Mint future ciao